I'm sorry, Mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight I'm cleaning up my but clothes. You know what? Yeah. In marriage, yeah. a lot of times, husbands make their wives cry. Wow. Cry? Yes. And, and you have made me cry many times. I think, Do you know? I think we've made each other cry. <laughs> and I think all the times eh, I made you cry. If I, if I, if, let's say I made you cry 50 times. Yes. The one time that you made me cry was... <laughs> <laughs> was more than no, 200 no, times. No, 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 <laughs> I'm no, telling no. you. I'll be crying. For me, for me, to, even, for me to even admit, it's a normal when a man say, I, I cried, I cried. No, are, but for, made... but the, the cry that you made me to no, cry. You know that it's okay for a uh, man to be making his wife cry over and over and over and over. And nothing over. is and okay. No, a man will never cry. Crying is not even okay. I'm not even saying that, but, but there are just some things that. But that happened that that, that happened that you don't even expect it will pain you but you don't have to cry you've done many things that pain me deeply but i do not have to cry but the one the most particular <laughs> one <laughs> the particular one that you did shout that i was like wow god my wife is not as spiritual as i thought <laughs> Wait, no, but but see you uh -huh. when a woman does something that is so painful that the husband is now vexed like to the point where he shed tears if he shares that story with his friends or with his fellow men, they'll be like, and you're still with that woman. Like, leave her. Like, how can a woman do this? She's this, this, this. So no, it's, it is like an unforgivable thing for a man to cry for his wife. But it's okay for a woman to cry over different things. And even when she tells her friends, they'll be like, ah, let us join what, what you. A, what I'm even let saying us pray that What I'm even saying is better. that. Friends of what women. Are, see, but the friends of women, when you tell them about maybe what happened, they just say that ah, that's no good. Okay, let me join you in prayers. Why not try this? Why not try this? But the friends of men, if a man should tell his friend that you know what my that means, the man is keeping the bad friend now. God, no, the man is keeping even bad no, friend no, now. That's what it means. Is, even if he's keeping your parents, for example, now if I should tell my mom that yeah. you made me cry, what would she tell me? She would, she would say, okay, pray for your husband. Like pray for your husband. But if a man should tell his parents that his wife made him cry, what would the parents say? You'll be very surprised what some parents, especially when. A woman has wait now. Let me tell you, especially when a woman has made her mark, even when she is wrong in her home. I know I've heard stories of maybe when a man is wrong. For example, the parents will tell him to go and apologize to his wife. In like normal Nigerian marriages, if a husband should go and tell his parents that his wife did something that made him cry, it's like an abomination. Why will a man even go and tell tell his? That means maybe, all his maybe, friends. Maybe the guys, if you tell your friends, okay, if you if you share that kind of a thing with your friends, it all depends on the kind of friends that you are rolling with. Mm -hmm. If you are rolling with people that are not even happy in the fact that you are having, they are married with, to, yes, but they are, they are having a happy home. Are, Do you understand? There are a lot of friends that uh -huh. have strongholds on their friends' marriage. Like, like your friend would tell you that you would have not married that girl. And then you now do it, and you now marry that girl. And when things now happen in the marriage, then you would have be sharing it without your friend that did not want you to marry your wife in the first yeah. place. And then your friend will now be adding fire, adding pepper, adding fire, and maybe your other friends too are. Not that means the, that means the guy is not even married. He's not even in control. Much of much of but those. You know it happens a lot. It's not the guy is not that one is he's not married. Well, like, well, like he doesn't understand what it's. Of course, of, of course, it happens. Women too. Of course, it happens, and and it's wrong. If it's happening, it's not the right thing. Not friends now, not friends. Friends that are having their own challenges. It's just like some of the stories that we hear. Or maybe somebody will now say, "Oh, my husband took me to Dubai, took me to Paris, took me to X, Y, and Z." Whereas there's no picture to even show that that lady has even left. Maybe Kogi State or Abuja, maybe even to Nasarawa or yeah. or, or the Plateau and all that. So some of all these people that easily gravitate towards friends, towards family, to go and report. When you are reporting your spouse, like, who are you really reporting? You are reporting yourself know. now. Really, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's absolutely senseless. Except maybe in cases of maybe where there is now violence involved. Uh, maybe the man is cheating or the woman is cheating. So people will now go back to their culture. There are some cultures that if a woman is cheating, and as a man, you know, you now cover it up. You did not talk. Maybe the God of those people will now yeah. come back. Yeah, those, those things... Those things happen. The God of what? The God now. <laughs> God of what without God. The God will now fight the man. Instead of the, the myth, the mythology has it that it's the man that will now die instead of the woman because he covered. Covered. Uh -huh. So, so, so I'm just saying that 
except in extreme cases yes, that you can now say, okay, ah, this this was happening in my home, so that you don't now die in silence. Or you are that now is if you are subject to traditional God now. But Wait. if you are a Christian, you are not subject to traditional God. Wait, see, we which one is Christian? Sorry. I'm not saying as a Christian. <laughs> I'm not saying as a okay, Christian. Muslim, I'm not. I'm not. God. I'm not saying anybody is even subject. I'm just saying that people. Culture, have cultural beliefs. cultural beliefs and sometimes you know the reason could be that based on some cultural but ethics but you know that uh, there are some marriages that have like friends or parents or even aunties and uncles yeah. that have the final say that's why i told you that you know you did one of our videos we talked about this yes. issue one of the reasons why friends you say friends. friends yes because that friends own bar the friends own is majorly like, self-esteem issues like People get into mind, they don't have a mind of their own. Yes. Especially when maybe it's that friend that introduces you to the person, mm -hmm. or the person is, is feeding you or housing you. There just has to be a benefit somehow. That's how me I'm looking or at it. What if people that have friends that almost all their friends are divorced or they are separated or something like that, they now have issues in their own marriages. And they will now go and be discussing those issues that they have with the friends that are not with their spouses. That, those are that one, that one does not. The person does not have sense now. The person does not have sense. I don't... If you want to get healed, do you go to somebody that is sick to go and ask for a prescription? I don't know. And it doesn't and make sense now. I'm not saying that people who are divorced are sick. Or that's not the point I'm trying to make. But I'm just saying that um, depending on how you want your marriage to, your, your to be, marriage. if what you've always desired in marriage is to get divorced, then you can go to a divorced person. But like I on another you. note too, yes. you can even get quality advice from people that have made mistakes in certain areas of their life and understand that, both yes, sides that, oh, yeah, that you know. of, because so that, that, there was that, a woman that was sharing her story and she said that when her husband cheated that she made a decision that if she goes to meet people that left their marriage then definitely they would advise her that way so what she did was to meet people that yeah. had gone through the same challenge but did not leave yeah. and so they were able to advise her properly but some people will be in their marriage they are suffering in silence in their own marriage. When another person comes with their own issue in their own marriage, they will have, they will have advice. That, oh my God, how are you taking that? I will never <laughs> take that. And if you watch closely, you they are taking worse. You see, and that's why when, when, but when, you to leave when, when, when the scriptures, you know, talked about, you know, leaving to cleave, you know, leaving every, everything else behind. I'm not saying that in the first year of marriage that people are even cleaving together. That first year of uh -huh. marriage. Eh? First year of marriage, something hey, is turbulent. Give me five. <laughs> hey, hey. It Best can be it can be marriage. turbulent because ah, yeah, 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 yeah. all you all you thought you knew you actually didn't know you are just uncovering you are discovering you are discovering that person for the very first time. But is it possible to have a first year of marriage that is so perfect? Yeah, so but nobody is perfect now, so you cannot really expect perfection. People have you know various degrees of you know conflicts and all that. Some is minimal, some is mild, some is hypertech and you know yeah. things like that. But 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 the, but the, but I think the point basically is that. People should just learn to see how they can resolve their issues, you know, together and all that. Deal, deal with everything that is in your closet. You understand? It's a closet. It's marriage. It's like, it's like, it's like a cave with just one door. But what do you now say about when you're getting married? They might tell you that don't, don't accept third mm -hmm. party in marriage. Yeah. Well, some would tell you that have a mentor in your marriage. A mentor because, is not. A mentor is not. Because there are some things that. If you are married to a man now, mm -hmm. and the man does, and you don't have anybody that you can report your husband to, yeah. and your husband is just going, he's the guy just is on doing, autopilot. Yes, he's just doing off, off, <laughs> off, 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 and you don't have anybody. And maybe you even took out with your husband that we will never Separate share no, our secrets, share our secrets with others, and you are now dying there. Yeah. But they said I don't share. So which one is better? Is it that whatever happens, let it be between two I, of I, us, I think, or you can bring a third party in? I, I think there is. Third parties should come in as a last resort, mm -hmm. but sometimes too, third parties should come in as a first resort. First resort is both ways really, because when you look at the fact that, okay, a problem is starting, if you don't want that thing to now degenerate, you just nip it in the bud. Or maybe if you are the kind of person that wants to wait, let me even see how I can deal with this stuff. You know, then you now wait till almost the end, you now bring somebody in. But one way or the other, it should be somebody that the two parties actually That's have a very high regard for. What yeah. if your husband has a high regard for somebody? And you as a wife, you don't have a high regard for that person. But now your husband wants to bring in somebody to resolve the issue. And he's always... When people 
Whenever you people have issues, he's always going to bring that person to come and resolve the issue. And you, you don't really think that that person has your back. It's not like you're trying to say, okay, let the person that will come and resolve the issue have your back. No. But imagine if you're bringing somebody that the person, whatever happens, the person is always on your husband's side. Then that one is that, that one, one is, is so whatever that one is like a, is it like a political mediator now a political party yes, member. It happens in a lot it, of it, marriages it, it, where it, it, it happens a where, whole lot. So, so it happens a whole lot. For the husband and the wife to look for somebody that they both respect, not that the wife will bring someone that will always was, um, support her or the husband will bring someone that will always supports him. I just feel that when people are even thinking of a lopsided support system, you know, husband. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> when people are thinking of, of, of this of this thing in terms of maybe a lopsided uh, support system and all that, oh, supporting me, supporting her, all those kind of stuff, I, I don't really think they are really interested in resolution. Ready to solve the issue. If 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 you are still looking at who is going to win this fight, who is going to win this argument, who is going to win this or win that, that means you are not even serious in the first place. I think what should be uppermost on everybody's mind should be resolution. Some people are dramatic about resolution. Some people want it to drag, then they will now resolve. And, but if you are like me, I don't. Maybe they want I don't it to like... drag because they like makeup sex. Well, that one. Is... <laughs> <laughs> so they will be happy Anyways, to you know that, that's, that's why that's why you even tell people that they should not interfere in people's marriage. Truly, because sometimes you will carry your that. mouth. You go and be advising somebody. At the end of the day, they will they use will it. Not pregnant, they will not get pregnant. They will use it. They will use it to set. <laughs> That thing yeah. is very true. There are some there are some people that quarrel on purpose because they enjoy making uh -uh. sex. Some people is quarrel that leads them to attract. Some people that quarrel that 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 systemic quarrel some you know time frame helps them to bond in a way that a third party will not even people understand, understand what is going on. You not say these people are quarreling. You know, they are always fighting, but because you are not you are not there at the end of the at the end of the day. They are quarreling. Yes, the wife is getting pregnant. Somebody will say more ah. children are coming. That means. I beg they you, like this thing. at times, what happens at times, sometimes uh, advice uh, is just better to keep advice to yourself at times. Sometimes, yeah. I'm not saying in all cases, but there are some times that, okay, you've, you're inter you are trying to intervene in somebody's uh, marital issues and all that. You are, you are going out of your way, you are spending your time, your money, putting yourself at risk on the road, you know, things like that. And at the end of the day, uh, these people, they are still resolving. They will quarrel again, they will resolve. They will quarrel again, they will resolve. At that point in time, you're supposed to even use your sense to know that, ah, uh, this is where, like, that means it's, it's part of it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's working in their own system. Yeah. So don't try to now go and impose your own thought patterns your and thought processes on, on people. It would not actually work. People respond to different things, you know, differently. And of course, it could just be a process of them getting to know each other better. It's every couple that yeah. like makeup sex. No, not, not I don't, I doubt. There are some couples that when they quarrel for the next two months, three months, they will not have sex. That because means those kind of people, like, are, they, are the kind of people that like having sex in peace? Of course. But some people, <laughs> hey, it's quarrel. It's not quarrel. It's quarrel. Take someone, someone that has not had orgasm in months. <laughs> 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 it's not quarrel that will make the best thing have orgasm. <laughs> Give me five. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> so these things, uh, these things, uh, last, last. Everybody people's just motivation people's motivation is different. Really, you can't, you can't, you can't really know it all. Even when you say, okay, ah, you are, you are, maybe you are a sex therapist or you are a marriage but counselor no matter how, or you are yeah. this or you are that. You still, you still, every advice is still limited to what the parties want to take out of it. But That's no the matter reality. how the quarrel is helping the marriage, quarrel, quarrel the is, marriage not is not still good. good. Quarrel is not still quarrel good. Is because that time, you would have used that time to do some other the productive pain, things, the, you know. Why would you want to first go through pain, then you now derive pleasure, pleasure. from pain, pain? I think it's it's it's, it's too <laughs> the children again. It's too that, lopsided. That I will beg. Now get to be watching the choreo because they won't understand what was even going on. And, no, they, they may not understand now. They, they, they will feel the choreo, but that thing that parties will use to settle that choreo. At that time, the children are not in the picture. <laughs> you understand? Children yes. are not in that picture, but, but they are in the picture of the choreo. So it's not really healthy, you know. Quarreling. It's not. It's not really healthy. It's not healthy. At the end of the day, you know, it's not healthy. So last, last then, people of God. Whatever is in your closet. We, we're still going to talk about this issue of um, that thing that we are hiding, that thing that only us know about, about our lives. We're going to closet talk about issues. it. Closet issues. What are those, what are those deep things that, man, if your husband is here, you know that there's a problem. Or if your wife is aware, well, a day. Do you understand? We're going to talk about those closet issues. I think <laughs> that will be more of nah, our next wow. video.
Oh. Uh, you know, closet issues. The things that even people don't want to address. There are a lot of issues. issues there are a lot of like issues. What? There are a lot of closet issues. Closet issues like what? Closet issues could be secretly smoking, secretly drinking. It could be even a child out of wedlock. wedlock. Secretly it could be it could be like 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 eh, eh, all those kind of all those kind of things. You secret know. wife. You understand? Secret husband. Not spiritual wife. <laughs> Because that one is not part of it. Uh, it's not within our no, own body. Uh, I think I think that spouses have secrets sometimes. Yeah. And uh, the only thing that will make a spouse to share that secret is if they know that they will not be judged. It's true. If a spouse Oh if they know they will not be judged. <laughs> no, no but it's true. It's very, very a, true. And there's also the self self like guilt and all that like oh this one this one but if a spouse knows that okay this is my weakness this one is my challenge yeah. and i'm married to this person mm -hmm. and this person will understand yeah this person this person will understand this, this person the person will not judge me, me. the this, person will this, help this me will to help go me through that through process, process. Uh -huh. that's that's the key thing but you know when all that is absent, trust me, some people are dying with their secrets. Yes. They will die. In fact, if they wake up again, they will still die with it. You they understand? Still, yes. So we'll be dealing with some of except, those topics. Except, yeah. except maybe they are now sick and they now give them that injection that is able to now say they are sick. Even, health, even health issues. Some people are having health challenges that their partners are not aware of. How? Yeah. 